Hi guys, what up? I'm a bit shaky, feeling a bit scared actually. My emotions are up and down, up and down. And today's topic is about the higher self. How to connect back to your higher self. How to let go. How to stay creative and how to be in alignment. So the higher self is this magical being. It is you actually, it is us because we are connected at some level, we are one. We came here on purpose and we came here with dreams to accomplish. We came here with soul contract contracts. We came here to have fun. We came here to experience the unknown. We forgot who we are. We forgot where we came from. We forgot everything about yourself just to accept the challenge of remembering, remembering who we are, why we are here. And for me, the main purpose of why I think I'm on this planet is to create love with the world, is to share love, is to, is to express my heart, is to accept my energies, is to accept myself, and to realize that the mind and the heart are so powerful that you can shift in whatever you wish to experience. So the higher self is this consciousness that is non-physically focused, that is not based on materialism, that is energy. So we are, are at our levels, we are energy. We are frequency and we are vibration. Everything is energy. The whole universe is not made by material stuff, it is made by energy. So recognize in yourself the thoughts that feel inspiring. Recognize in yourself your heart. Recognize in yourself the thoughts that make you... that make you want to move to the next level. That may be your higher self speaking through you. And the higher self usually speaks to you through emotions. It always gives you emotions. It protects you in a way, or he protects you in a way. And I think that it is connected to your spiritual self, to the abundant self, to your Kundalini energy. Because the Kundalini energy is the life force energy. It is a higher vibration it is a higher state of consciousness and what I why why do I do I speak about the higher self I speak about the higher self because the whole planet is awakening we are awakening to levels of awareness that never thought that we never thought be being possible before we are connecting to new states of consciousness and how to connect faster to the state of consciousness is to realize the things that are not working inside of yourself and let them go. Because it's not about becoming something, maybe it is at some level. It's not about becoming something, it's about revealing yourself. It's about following that flow state that comes from the inside out. It's about moving. It's about creating. It's about following your passion. It's about realizing that whatever choice you make, your spirit says yes. Realizing that you are safe. Realizing that your body has infinite power to create. Realizing that we are human beings, not human doings. So when you step into being, when you step in accepting your heart, when you step in accepting your energies, you will move into a more sweeter density. Because spiritual dimensions or dimensions are about densities. So the moment that your emotion becomes smoother, the moment that you, your emotions become smoother, you will be closer to your higher self 
And I believe that it's all about accepting, accepting your heart. Uh, someone said that when you connect to a certain energy of yourself, there isn't a need for an effort. So hard work, hard work is not working for me. Maybe it works at some level, but accepting my heart, that is the best thing that I can do for myself. Accepting my heart, accepting my mind, realizing that there is emotion coming from the heart to the brain and not the other way around. So you always think in concordance to how you feel. So emotion creates thoughts, right? And how do you shift your emotion? Well, you simply accept it. You realize that you have an ideal perspective of what you want to become. To realize that you are actually smart. To realize that you are actually powerful. To realize that everything is happening for you. I love to say this. Everything is happening for you. So life, whoever you meet, whatever you do, whatever you feel, these are all connected. In a way, yes, these are all connected. But you can choose to shift yourself by accepting yourself. So it's not about creating something new. It's about looking backwards towards yourself because you have all the knowledge within. You have all the information within. A dear friend of mine said, I asked her, do you believe in God? And she said, she beautifully said that God is within ourselves. So the journey is not out there. You shouldn't look for things on the outside, but you should look for feelings on the inside. That is a beautiful thing. To realize that you can be positive and to accept the negative as well. Because there is this tricky duality, right? But duality is all about the third dimension, I think. So good, bad, right, wrong, all kind of things. Left, right. But when these things connect, you will realize that there is one source, one energy. There is only one of us here. And that is the whole thing. That is the whole cosmos. Things may not be separated. And everything is moving. Nothing is static. Have I, talk, have, I talk, have I talked about the higher self in this video? I'm not even sure. I just like to flow with my thoughts. Your higher self is always proud of you, no matter what. You are that higher self, actually. So, yeah, a bit, a bit paradox, paradoxical or complicated to say. In a way, you are your higher self. And your spiritual self is happening on the inside. So when you watch reality from the inside out, and stop reacting to the things that you can't control, you will realize that you change in each moment. In each moment, there is a new character. There is a new playful child that is abundant and safe and loving and powerful, and smart, and brave, and whatever you wish to call him, and creative, and dancing, and moving. So accept yourself, guys. That is, to, that is the best key to connect to your higher self. Accept yourself and love yourself, no matter what. Accept yourself and love yourself. Yes, that's the key. We are far more than our mind can think. 
and we can accomplish in a loving perspective far more than, than our mind can think. They say that the mind is limited, but consciousness cannot be limited because you are only the observer of it. So when you observe reality in an objective way, when you realize that in a way it is all about you and in another way it is, there is nothing about you, I mean not there, there is nothing about you, it means that you shouldn't judge yourself according to outer reality. You shouldn't compare yourself to other people and choose your environment well. I wanted to go into nature but honestly I felt a bit lazy and I go, wanted to go downtown to drink a tea or a coffee. I, I think tea, yeah. Choose yourself well. Choose nicely. I think this is it. Sending you my best vibes and stay safe guys. I love you.